Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. And today we're going to talk about how to use Vimeo app. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. And so welcome to a new tutorial video. And today I will be guiding you on how to use the Vimeo app. First things first, on your web browser, you're going to have to type in vimeo.com. And then you will be directed onto Vimeo's actual landing page. As we scroll down, we have like informations here about Vimeo. But let's go straight on creating our account here. So what I want you to do is you click on this join for free button. And here, this is where you can put in your details to sign up to the app. You can either log in with your email or Google account. For me, I'll log in through my Google since it's an easier access for me. Once you are done with the initial login process, you'll be routed on the actual homepage of your account in Vimeo. Here, you will have an options on how you can upgrade your free subscription in Vimeo. You have the starter, you have the standard, and you have the advanced. So you have choices here that you are free to choose from. But for now, let's just exit this part right here so we can start navigating into the application. So as you can see on the left side panel of your screen, you have the shortcuts like your homepage, library, live event, showcases, analytics, and monetize. These are your shortcuts to easily navigate around on your Vimeo. And then here at the top, these are your ways on how you can use Vimeo app. We have here the uploads, import, record, create, and host. And don't you worry because I will be showing you how to use this option through step-by-step -step guide. Why don't we go ahead and start with the first one which is the upload from computer. Once we click this, you will be directed into this page where it says drag and drop videos to upload. We just click on choose files button and open the video that we want to upload. Once you do that, you will, be there, you will be routed into the editing page of your video. You will just have to wait until it's done optimizing your video. And then once it's done, what I want to tackle first are the settings on our right side part of our screen. First one is we have manage privacy. So under here, you can change the privacy of your videos if you want your video to be private so that only you and people on your account can access the video. It will be your choice. The next is we have the analytics. This is where you can track your views and viewers of your video. Then we have the comment. Under here, you will have the option to allow comments or to turn off comments on your video. Just simply click the option here to do that. Then we have the share button. This is where you can share your videos through email or from Vimeo, but this isn't for free, so you're gonna have to upgrade your free plan to access this feature. The next is we have the publish. You can publish this to social, embed an email, you can even add this to your showcase, channel, and group. And then the last one, we have the three dots where you can download, move, or replace your video and even delete your video from here. And those are the functions of the settings on the right side part of your screen. And moving on, as we have these options into our left side as well, these are the tools that you can use to edit your videos. The first one is the player where you can use to customize your video and then we have the caption if you want to add subtitles to your video and you can even add an audio to your video if you want. Then we have the interactivity, but once again this is only available if you have an upgrade plan. Then the last one is edit where you can trim your video, stitch your videos together or add a GIF. But you can still go through this by yourself to figure things out. And so basically this is how the upload option works in Vimeo. And now let's go back to our homepage and head on to our next option which is the record. So we click on it and we will be directed to the studio. And Vimeo is going to ask you to use your camera and microphone. And you will have three options here to choose. But for, for now, let's allow this time. And here on the left side part of your screen, this is a really nice feature that they have because you can write your script if you have one ready. But if you don't, Vimeo AI will generate that for you you're just gonna have to describe your video to get an AI generated script. And then on the bottom part, we have here the tools to actually start recording here in Vimeo. Just click on these buttons here, like turn on your camera and unmute the microphone so that you can start recording here in Vimeo. Just click on the start recording button and once the countdown is done, that's when you start to read your script. Then once, once done, just click on the stop recording button and it will be saved on your library directly. Then just wait for it to optimize and let's assume that it's done optimizing and let's try to listen to the recording that's when you can start to 
um, record here in Vimeo. And then, and once you are satisfied with the recording, once again, you have the options on your left side part that you can use to edit your video. And so that is how recording works in Vimeo. And going back to the homepage, since we are done with the upload and record, next thing that I want to teach you is how you can create a video from scratch or from a template here in Vimeo. So we just click on the create option and you will be routed directly into the editor page of Vimeo. As you can see on the left side part of our screen, those are the tools that we can use to edit our video. The very first one is the media. This is where you can upload your video. Just click on this upload button to do that. Then we have the library, which are the videos that were uploaded already into our Vimeo account. Then we have the stack videos from Vimeo that are free for us to use. Like for example, if you're creating a video, video about Arial, just click the Arial and you will have choices of stack videos there. Just simply click on the video and it will be added shortly to your screen. The next one is we have the presets. Like if you want to add an intro or outro to your video, this is where you can do it. But you have a lot of choices here to maximize your video. Just figure things out here. The next is we have the text. This is where we can add a text to our video. Like add a title, headline, subheadline, or captions. Just click on the option and it will be added shortly as well into your screen. The next one is we have the graphics. This is where you can add icons or emojis in your videos. Just click the thing that you want to add into your video and it will be added shortly. Then here we have the music where you can add music into your video. Like if you want to add a background music, you can do that in here. You have a lot of options here to choose from. Then we have the uploads. If you want to upload your own music, feel free to do that as well. Just click on the upload button below. And next thing is we have the color. If you want to add colors into your video, you can do that as well with Vimeo. Last thing is we have the brand, but don't worry about this one because you're going to have to upgrade to a premium plan to use this feature. Once you are done editing using the left side panel of your screen, what you can do next is you can do a preview of your project and just click the play button at the center part of your screen. If you are satisfied with this video, on the upper right corner of your screen, just click the save button to save this project. And so that's basically how you can create a video from scratch or template in Vimeo. Then going back to our homepage, and the last option we get here in Vimeo is the host. Once you click this option, you will have to choose your event type. You have two options here, which is you can do a live broadcast or you can do a webinar. Just click the create button on the option that you want to do, and it will direct you to the page of your desired event type. And so that's basically how you use Vimeo app. I hope I helped somehow and made a difference. And if you have any suggestions or ideas, just comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next tutorial. Goodbye.